Question number 10, Honi Harawera. Uh, Mr. Speaker, to the Deputy Prime Minister, what more is the government planning to do to ensure all New Zealand children have food to eat each school day in light of the recent Treasury finding that the number of children living in poverty has increased to 285,000? Uh, Mr Speaker, first I disagree with the member's assertion about the number of children. Uh, Treasury recently announced it discovered an error in its high-level statistics. No one's actual circumstances in the real world have changed one bit as a result of their statistical error. Uh, secondly, the government believes that parents have the primary responsibility for feeding their children, uh, and I think most New Zealanders would agree with that. But we do know that some children go to school hungry through no fault of their own, so the government co-funds a breakfast in schools program with Fonterra and Sanitarium in any school in New Zealand that wants to run it. Supplementary question, Hone Tanawira. <coughs> with the Ministry of Health figures showing that an estimated 100,000 kids are going to school hungry each day, and the Kickstart and Kids Can website showing that they are feeding about 20,000 on a good day, meaning 80,000 are still going to school hungry every day. Will the government now do what 70% of New Zealanders are calling for, and that is to initiate a comprehensive government-funded food and schools program in all low decile schools? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, we won't do that, and there's a couple of reasons. One is that while the government uh, does set out to support those schools who believe they need a breakfast in schools program, uh, and as I've said, it's open to any school in New Zealand that wants to run it, we do not believe that the government should take the place of parents in feeding children. We're happy to assist where there is need, and we have in place a joint venture with Fonterra and Sanitarium to achieve it. Some schools have taken that up. Some, people, some schools feel that they don't need to. Supplementary question, Hone Harawira. With child poverty now at record levels and students from Nainai College asking, why can't John Key make a smart decision and feed the kids? Can you please tell the House what steps government is taking to ensure that the tonnes of fish being dumped regularly by countdown will be made available to feed the tens of thousands of New Zealand kids still going to school hungry every day? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I can only repeat the answer that I gave, and that is the government believes it has struck about the right balance between assisting uh, those children where there is a genuine hardship and an ability by parents to feed them without instituting some nationwide programme which would uh, be quite likely to undermine the sense of responsibility that families uh, have for feeding their own children. Uh, of course, in the longer run, these children are best served by uh, the other measures the government is taking alongside the Breakfast in Schools programme, and that is ensuring that when they get to school they actually achieve something and that we don't tolerate a system that says because they're poor and hungry that says because they're poor and hungry they can't learn. Supplementary question, Brendan Horan. What would the uh, Deputy Prime Minister say if he was asked by the parents, students and staff of Nainai College, would he commit to ensuring that New Zealand's next cohort of children receive the best possible start in their first years, as recommended by the Health Select Committee's unanimous report, and will he commit to policies so every child has adequate nutrition at school, consistent with that unanimous report? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I would say to the uh, students of Nainai College uh, that the government is committed to the best start for children and was working alongside those people who care for children every single day, which actually is not the government, it's the teachers and their parents. Where those children are, uh, do come to school hungry, the school already now has the option of going into the Breakfast in Schools program. Uh, but it, it just as important for those children is that when they get to school, they get taught under policies uh, from a government who have aspirations for those young New Zealanders who believe every single one of them can learn. 
and a government that's willing to hold the public education system and itself to account for assisting those young children to achieve. Question. A point of order, sir. Point of order. It was a very long answer, but I did ask if he would order. commit order. to order. policies order. so order. that every order. child... The member can resume a seat. I listen to the question. I listen to the answer that's been addressed. Question number 11, David Shearer. Thank you, Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Energy. Further to his reply to oral question number nine yesterday, will he now tell me what is his ministry's best estimate for the...